everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about my favourite products for the last month or so. I'm going to get right into it now because I've actually got quite a lot of stuff to show you. I'm going to start with makeup. So the first thing I've actually done a review on recently anyway, and that is NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I was kind of unsure about this to start off with and then I decided that I really liked it and that's when I did the review that's on my channel. And I've been using this like every day this month and I just like it more and more every single time I use it if that's possible. I swear this is the best foundation I've ever used. It just it just looks really natural and and really glowy and I really really love this effect. If you're wondering what colour I use, this is Barcelona, which matches my skin when I'm tan, but my tan is fading a little bit now, so I mix it with a tiny bit of Mont Blanc, which is really really pale. So that is the first thing, NARS Sheer Glow. Um quite a few lip products actually over the last month. I've got really into Maybelline's Colour Sensational and Amber Rose again. This was kind of doing the rounds like, I don't know, maybe a year ago now um, on YouTube. It's a pale, kind of semi shimmery, rosy pink. And I just kind of, you know how you have things and they kind of make their way to the back of your drawer and you don't really use them so much? And then you kind of rediscover them. That's been a nice rediscovery this month. I've also been putting. Um, Victoria's Secrets Beauty Rush lip gloss in Slice of Heaven over the top of that. Um, this is kind of like a baby pink with goldy purpley shimmers in it, if you can see. Shimmers? That's not even a word. But that's really pretty and it tastes like cake, so I like that. You can't get that in England, obviously, because it's from Victoria's Secret. Another thing that I've rediscovered is Estee Lauder's lip... I don't know what kind of crystal lipstick. Yeah, pure colour crystal lipstick um, in Crystal Baby. Now, I have had this for ages, probably 18 months, and I loved it when I first got it, and then it's another one that I kind of never use. This is what I'm wearing on my lips at the moment, although you can't see because I am totally washed out for some reason today. And that is more of a kind of glossy finish, slightly deeper than that light pink before but this is just a really really nice moisturizing formulation and I've forgotten how good this was actually and I like the packaging too it's not actually the same color as in the bottom of here this has kind of like a purple shimmer and this the actual lipstick definitely doesn't I've just got to stop with doing whatever she's doing okay so other things that I have been enjoying using this month the benefit it stick which actually came free in last month's glamour magazine I've never tried it before they were also giving away bad gal liner and the eye bright stick but this is just let me show you a really light concealer stick but I've been loving using this under my eyes and just around my nose to cover redness it's kind of a little bit hard formulation you do have to warm it up with your fingers to blend it in properly but it's kind of very brightening and um, I've been liking using that anyway and it's convenient to have in a stick form because you can just put it on really quickly and uh, it's easy to have in your bag, you don't need a brush or whatever. So I've been liking that. Another thing that I only just got last week but I do love it and I think it deserves to be in the monthly favourites because it is my favourite and it is Benefit's Sugar Bomb Blush which looks like that. This was in my birthday haul video anyway so if you guys watch that you'll have all seen it. It smells like sugar and it is just a really pretty kind of peachy rosy glow and it's quite shimmery as well so it looks really pretty. I've been loving that. So that is it for the makeup products. Skincare I've got one thing and I think this was actually in last month's monthly favourites as well but I honestly can't say enough good things about this and it is Elemis's Tri Enzyme Resurfacing Facial Wash and it looks like that. I've been using this now for I don't know at least six weeks if not longer and if you can see how much I've used, you probably can't, but it's about there. So I've been using one pump of this in the morning and at night, and I just absolutely love, love the results that it gives. It literally totally smooths your skin, it leaves it feeling really fresh, just really nice, and I just honestly can't say enough good things about this. I absolutely love it. The other cleanser that I'm using, the Elemis one, is good. You can kind of take it or leave it, if you get what I mean. Like, it's a cleanser, and it's a good cleanser, but it's not amazing, it's not dislike anything else I've ever tried before but this is definitely something quite unique in terms of what I've tried um, so I've absolutely been loving that I'm really sorry Woof is totally misbehaving today okay so I've got one hair care product and that is Schwarzkopf Osis hair body volume style and care spray which I use as a styling spray kind of during blow drying I put my Kerasas Nectothermique on 
before I blow dry and then kind of halfway through I spray this like onto the roots and all over really and I just really like it because it doesn't leave anything you can't feel it in your hair it doesn't feel sticky I absolutely hate products that you can feel in your hair once you finish styling them and they feel kind of crusty or greasy or whatever um, so I've been loving using that it gives you body and it makes your hair really easy to style for some reason it's hard to describe what it does but it just makes styling so much easier and it does give you volume so I've been liking that and it's a really fine mist as well so it's nice to spray um, one perfume which I actually got for my birthday but it wasn't in my birthday haul for some reason I don't know why I didn't put it in I must have forgotten about it because I think it's been in my handbag ever since I opened it and it is Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy this has been out for ages and a lot of you probably know what it smells like fruit it smells kind of like fake strawberry kind of smell if you like sweet perfumes like if you like the Escada perfumes or other Britney Spears ones this is really great this is actually the 30ml Eau de Parfum so this is like a perfect handbag size perfume as well and I just really like that so I've been using that a lot in the daytime um, just kind of freshen up I like having a perfume in my handbag and that's what I've got at the moment you can actually get this really really cheaply at discount websites at, I this one I believe my sister gave it to me is from Beauty Base in Westfield and I saw it with her I think they're like £12 for 30ml Eau de Parfum which is a really good price for perfume I mean it is Britney Spears and quite a tacky bottle but I like the smell so so we should really go on with perfumes I've got two nail products the first one is Rimmel London 60 second yeah just 60 second nail polish um, and this is what I've actually got on my nails at the moment this is in Euphoria which is a kind of metallic I want to say like it's kind of a taupey pink if that even makes sense if you guys can see just really pretty for kind of everyday wear and what I like most about these it's not so much about this specific colour but about these nail varnishes which I've only just kind of started using is that they have the really fat brush I know bourgeois have these fat brushes as well they're like the one second brushes that kind of cover one nail well they cover your little nail in one swipe for like larger ones you'd need kind of two or three but they are really really fast to apply and these I believe are £2.50 at the moment in Superdrug I think they're £2.99 normally but for some reason they're on deal or I don't know if that price reduction is permanent I'm pretty sure it's not but I got this for 250 anyway so I've been loving that and they dry really fast as well so if you're in a hurry and then the second thing which I discovered a few weeks ago is Sally Hansen's Mega Shine now this is a top coat and I actually tried this on recommendation ages ago I just remembered that she recommended it um, makeup by Tiffany D loves this and I have the worst problem with painting my nails and then smudging them or I either put like a third coat on too fast and then they never actually dry properly and they just go messy and gross but this absolutely stops all that you can paint it onto wet nails which seems really weird and I showed it to my sister and she would not believe it she was like you're not putting that on top it will ruin it I was like no seriously it does work and it leaves you with this shiny it's hard to show on camera but it just is the nicest nicest kind of finish very very shiny it is called mega shine and it is in a chrome bottle so that kind of uh, is a telltale sign that it's going to be like that but it is so good and it doesn't chip the one thing I can criticize it for instead of chipping it kind of wears I don't know if you'll be able to see but you see at the very ends it kind of wears in a straight line if you see what I mean this is about three or four days old and it does wear like that rather than chip which is kind of odd and I've never really experienced that before so apart from that I love that and that is I think 645 or something from Boots um, or I think you can get it in Superdrug as well sometimes they don't have it I looked in a few Superdrugs and they didn't have this um, and then I found it in a larger boot so that is that and then there is one unbeauty related item which I've been loving this month and that is the Yankee Candle air freshener this is really bizarre because normally I absolutely hate air fresheners in cars I just hate the kind of fake smell you know those little tree ones the pine fresheners I just absolutely hate them but these I love. I've got the vanilla cupcake scented ones and my friend gave me these with likes them too. I actually had one in my car and I ended up giving it to my sister yesterday because her car smelled so badly of dogs. I was like, look, you can have my air freshener, I'll put a new one in. But they make your car smell like cupcakes and that's awesome. And they look cute like the little Yankee candles if you guys haven't actually tried the candles. I just love having a car that smells nice when you get into it. And obviously because Woof, like 
because she's such a monkey. She comes in my car a lot and so it can smell a bit doggy at times so I like to kind of freshen up using these. I really want to get my hands on the kind of cinnamon or Christmas scented ones towards the end of the year because I absolutely love cinnamon. So that is it for my July favourites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you soon. Bye. Really natural and high worth. Woof. You're embarrassing me. Things that... Woof. Is this your video or mine? Do you want to be in the video? Do you want to say hi to everyone? Woof is being mad today. I just use, excuse me, Woof in the morning and at night. Woof doesn't use it. It. And I hate. What are you? Really, a noticeable change. Scarlet perfumes.